Hello, dear Biowellers. We're happy to announce the release of the new version of the Biowell software 6.0. One of the major changes in the interface is that the left column of the buttons is now positioned on the top of the screen. As you can see, database, recent, received, compare, calibration, flow tracker, and the rest of the buttons are now on the top at the same level where you can add new scans like full scan, stress scan, one finger mode and environment. Um, that's the interface changes. Another thing very helpful that can free more space for the actual results of the experiments. Now you will have the opportunity to adjust the width of the columns. But of course, you will be limited to the size of the buttons on the top of each column, the column of the cards and the column of the experiments. So you can narrow them down like this, and then you will have more space for the actual results of the scans. Next topic that uh, we have changed here is the calibration. Number one. In this version, you will have the opportunity to make the calibration in an offline mode. So now you can see that not only you can do the scans, but also you can do the calibration. And this calibration that you will do in offline mode will be applied to all scans that you will do after that. So it means that even if you travel somewhere, uh, where there is no internet connection, still you will be able to do the calibration and make the scans and they will be um, appropriate. But when you get back to the office and get online, you will need to upload not only the scans, but also the calibration. As you can see, the sign of the calibration scan is here. So it means that now when I click the upload button, it will upload calibration and it will apply these calibration results to the scan that I've made after that. So now the scan that I have done is appropriate. As you can see also, we have changed the labels, these pictures of the different tabs in, in the software. Uh, they, uh, these tabs are vector now, and uh, it means that it doesn't matter what size of the screen you have, they will look appropriately and uh, <clears throat> they will not change or be too pixeled. So um, these are the main changes with the interface. Next thing that we have changed in the calibration is that when you do the scan, there will be a pop-up message that there is no calibration data or it is obsolete. What does it mean? It mean? It means that you haven't done the calibration today. So if the calibration was done yesterday, it is already obsolete and you click calibrate, you proceed to the calibration screen automatically, you click start and it will make the calibration right away. Also the algorithm of the calibration has been changed. Now, if the environmental conditions are the same, the calibration can take less time. It can fit into five seconds. If the environmental conditions has changed, then you will have to wait for a couple of cycles. But again, it will be done automatically, and then you will be able to go to the scanning and there will be no more notification here. Next thing that we have changed is the naming of the stress 
norms. Uh, now they're called low, optimal, increased, high, very high, and excessive in all languages. Another thing that we have changed is an added new feature. Now in the organs and systems, beside seeing only the energy of organs and systems, you will see the second value, the balance of the specific system or the specific organ. And also you can see this color indication. The left one is for the energy, the right one is for the balance. Same thing, same approach now is applied to the meridians. As you can see in the yin and yang meridians are now having the same color indication and also showing not only the energy, but also the balance values. And of course, for those uh, two meridians that do not have paired sectors, unfortunately, we are not able to calculate the balance. That's why you see no balance values and there are no squares with colors on, on the right side. Also, the sequence of the meridians uh, has been slightly changed. Uh, now it is uh, in the sequence of the timing of the, their activity. So from the midnight till the end of the day, the meridians are from the one that is active at the midnight and so on. Another very useful change in our software is that now you can do the scans from any screen where you have the access to the database. It means if you go to the recent and you select the card, you can make the scan for that card. You go to the received, you have the card, you can do the scan for that card. So from all these and even from tracker, because you have the list of the cards here, you can select the card and you can create a new scan for this card, not only from the database. Additional thing, now starting from the version 6.0, uh, Biowell software is compatible with M1 chip uh, of all new MacBooks. So, and the software will be available for download from the iTunes. So for all the Mac users, uh, it will be much more easier to download and update the Biowell software. These are the main updates in the software that we wanted to inform you about. Of course, we have made some small changes, some bugs, uh, were fixed and some translation issues were fixed. We have added the uh, Romanian language also. But these are the main things that we wanted to inform you. And uh, thanks for watching this video and enjoy using the Biowell.